The built-in exception classes, of which there are many, are arranged into a class hierarchy using inheritance. This is significant because when you specify an exception class in an accept statement, any class which is a subclass of the specified class will be caught, in addition to the specified class itself. Let's look at two built-in exception types with which we're already familiar, index error and key error. An index error is raised whenever we attempt an out-of-range lookup into a sequence type, such as a list. A key error is raised when we look up a missing key in a mapping type, such as a dictionary. Let's investigate the inheritance hierarchy of these two exception types. We know we can retrieve the transitive base classes from a class object using the MRO method, which returns the method resolution order of a class as a list. This shows the full exception class hierarchy from object, the root of all class hierarchies, down through base exception, the root of all exceptions, a class called exception, which we'll return to shortly, to lookup error, and finally index error. Now we'll try the same exercise for key error. We can see that key error is also an immediate subclass of lookup error, and so index error and key error must be siblings in the class hierarchy. What this means in practice is that we can catch both index error and key error exceptions by catching lookup error. Here's a short program which raises and handles one index error and one key error. It behaves as expected when run, printing handled index error and handled key error. Now we'll modify the program to handle lookup errors instead of the more specific exception types. When run, the program behaves identically, because index error and key error are subclasses of lookup error. Let's take a look at the full hierarchy for the built-in exceptions, which we can find within the Python documentation. We've met many of these types already, including keyboard interrupt, stop iteration, zero division error, index error, key error, and of course the various types of syntax error when we've got something wrong. We must point out that over the history of Python there have been several changes to this exception hierarchy, so it's worthwhile checking the details for the exact interpreter versions you'll be using if your code needs to be portable. The hierarchy we're showing here is for Python 3.3. You'll see that base exception is at the root of the hierarchy. The only exceptions which derive from base exception other than the exception class we'll come to shortly, are the so-called system exiting exceptions, most notably system exit and keyboard interrupt. We've already witnessed the untoward effects of intercepting and swallowing keyboard interrupt exceptions. Likewise, inadvertent handling of system exit, which is raised by the sys.exit function when a process is programmatically terminated, causes similar problems. The majority of exceptions derive from exception, so if you want to catch all exceptions except the system exiting exceptions, you might be tempted to catch this. Note, however, that a whole host of exception types typically associated with programming mistakes, such as syntax error, indentation error, tab error, name error, unbound local error, assertion error, and import error are also subclasses of exception, so handling exception has the potential to hide serious problems. In general, we encourage you to handle as specific exceptions as possible, although OS error in particular is useful for detecting that something has gone wrong with a file system operation without needing to worry about the details of whether it's a missing file indicated by file not found error or a permissions problem indicated by permission error. And even though we may catch a general type of error, the exception object we receive retains its original type and any exception payload so we're not passing up on any opportunities for detailed error reporting based on exception payloads.